Good afternoon, everybody. How you doing? Welcome to One Act Consulting and Wisdom of the Way. I'm your coach, Coach Ren, as well as your guide. This morning, so I had my Tuesday Tantric and Togetherness medita Meditation this morning. I mean, it was an amazing meditation. And there's something that came out of that meditation that I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Um, so I said, is the Tantric and Togetherness Meditation that I do on Tuesdays. And yes, this will be part of the um, three, 360 Degree Transformation Mastermind group. Um, if you participate in that group, which the, the description in the description, there'll be a link that'll take you to the page, to the Facebook group, as well as the ability to sign up for the first month. And the first month is a trial no, and free enrollment. But uh, so every day we'll be doing a certain meditation Monday through Friday. And then Saturday and Sundays are self-guided meditations. And these are meditations that only last for 10 minutes out of your, out of your day. Right, it's just 10 minutes out of your day. So in this meditation, after I finished the meditation, I was struck with the thought that togetherness is really needed. I was struck with the remembrance of a conversation that I saw on a different Facebook group that I'm a part of where a young lady was, she was just basically asking the question of when in a relationship, how religion is interjected and then of course if the beliefs are different different then how does that affect the relationship and it was a long 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 conversation and it kind of made me go back to all the people I've coached all the people I've been life coaching all the Marines that I've trained just the places I've been around the world you know I mean I've been to Israel and I've been to Arabia I've been all throughout Europe I've been through North Africa and West Africa and some parts of East Africa I've been through the Caribbean and all over America and I've met a lot of people and I've trained a lot of people. And then I've met other people from other parts of the world that I have yet to visit. But the thing that was, is interesting to me is that when it comes to relationships, I've met people who are Christian and they had wonderful, beautiful relationships. I've met people who are Muslim, wonderful, beautiful relationships. Hindu, Buddhist, wonderful beautiful relationships. Jewish, agnostic, Gnostic, atheist, wonderful, beautiful relationships. I've also met people of all those same religions in marriages that were horrible, that were abusive, that were verbally abusive, that were mentally abusive. Met people in those types of relationships who did not know each other anymore, didn't spend time just grew so far apart that there was no love in the relationship. I've also met people who were of inter-spiritual relationships, who were one person spiritual, another person is Christian. One person is Christian, another person is Jewish. Another person, one person is Jewish, one person is Muslim. One person is Hindi, another person is Muslim. One person is Buddhist, another person is Christian. I've met people who are, one person is um, African spiritualism, another person is Native American spiritualism, and they have wonderful, beautiful relationships. I've met people who are inter-spiritual relationships and it's nothing but turmoil because they fuss, argue, fight over the belief system. Here's the thing about all of that that came to me today, is that when I meet people from different cultures, from different religions, from different whatever, just a different person. I try to understand. Instead of trying to demand from them to be what I am, I seek to understand who they are. And the thing about it is what I've seen in my travels, what I've seen in my connections with people in my togetherness, is that when I see a couple where their religion, their belief system, is a belief system of love one another, their belief system is respect one another. Their belief system is care for one another. When their belief system is have fun with one another. When their belief system is be intimate with one another. When their belief system is to adventure with one another. When their belief system is that I love you and you love me and I am here to just show you more love. I see the most beautiful relationships. That is the one commonality between all the relationships that were beautiful relationships. But for the relationships that were, that were horrible, that were tainted, that were destructive, 
that type of love and respect and care and dedication wasn't there. So as people in that conversation continue to say that if, if you don't believe in Allah, if you don't believe in Jesus, if you don't believe in Yahweh, if you don't believe in uh, Krishna, then, you know, you can't, you're not for me. And for some people, and that's for you, and if that's who you are, then that's fine. That's your standard. But your standard doesn't make you right. Because love doesn't know what a religion is. Love only knows love. And, in, and for us to come to a point of togetherness, we have to seek again to understand one another, not demand from one another. To show each other consideration and care. To show each other that I recognize that in my belief system, I'm supposed to love you as I would love myself. And if I find myself romantically attracted to you and we decide to give it a go, then I am to love you as I would love myself. I am to honor you as I would honor myself. I am to give to you as I would give to myself. I am to follow that golden rule that I will treat you how I want to be treated. That was in my tantric togetherness meditation this morning. And it has been my constant all day today is that we could be a much better people if we learn how to just love one another. We learn how to understand one another and seek to know why you believe what you believe and understand it, but not put a condemnation on it and say that you must be like me. Look at me, look in the mirror. I'm not like you. Even if we're both of the same hue, even if we're both male, I'm still not like you. You're you and I'm me. You exist and I exist. We can have a collective consciousness, but we are still separated by our individual consciousness. But that collective consciousness allows us to come together. This is why when we meditate and we meditate together, it would be a synergy of energy because our focus on Tuesday's meditations would not be to lord one over the other, but to simply come together in harmony of love and peace and kindness towards one another. To understand that we are all sharers of this universe, sharers of this world, this earth. And that by bringing all that together, connecting to the source, the soul of the world, God, whatever you want to call it, by connecting like that, we can find a way to be in peace and love with one another. So I invite you guys to subscribe to this page. Click on the links if you're interested in joining the 360, the, um, 360 degree transformational program. I look forward to it. I hope you guys do. Your greatness is non-negotiable and so is mine.